Yo, what's up, YouTubers? It's Click Gaming here, back with another video of Lineage Two Revolution. Yeah, I've been haven't been on for past week, and you know, it's been really busy with work. Okay, today we're gonna touch up on Soul Crystals. There's been some questions asking for you know Soul Crystals and how do you effectively use them. So I mean, I've been putting this off for quite a while. You know, I've been trying to find out ways how do I actually get the most effective soul crystals um, improvement so here it is okay one the first thing about soul crystals that you have to know is the stats actually do follow you through as you improve them so let's say you want to get something that is um, increased crit damage rate okay let me get an example something like this an a grade increased crit damage rate so as you upgrade them very expensive as you upgrade them they do actually get the same stats along so it is still it is still increased crit damage rate so the stats do not change so if you are thinking you know you get a nice crystal you want to put it on say for example I have this crystal you know so crystal of penetration i haven't really been able to get much of these penetration crystals so my accessories do not actually have crystals on them so let's say this is a soul crystal of penetration it has m attack on no matter how i were to upgrade them it will still remain as m attack which will be pretty useless for me at this moment as a blade dancer i mean if you are a say an elder a spell class you would prefer to have m attack instead of p attack of course m attack does help a bit with your missile boats and stuff you know having a level 10 missile boat from what i read it is you will be having 600 percent p attack 600 percent m attack you know but just solely for missile boat i do not think that it is really that helpful so let's move on to what stats you might want to be looking at Alright, these are my PvE gears. These are not the rare gears that I have. Um, I haven't had much luck with rare gears. I've been combina combining them non-stop. I think I'm at 30 combinations right now. I only have two pieces. So let's just say, you know, you, you have gears. You want to make up a stat that will increase your CP or increase your combat capabilities. So the first thing to remember is P attack gives you the most amount of CP. So if your goal is just solely to increase your combat power, do go ahead to get all your all your soul crystals with P attack. Having P attack, you know, okay, this is 13 points. Let's do, do a simple upgrade here. It's 39. So you can effectively say that, you know, one... 1p attack is almost equivalent to 3 points okay how do you find that out actually let me see this is running around okay how do you know how much points each each attack or each defense will give you how much cp it will actually give you it's actually pretty simple if you were to go to character your runes okay i get something fresh um the p attack is actually over here it actually gives you 56 points so from 28 to 56 let me do a quick calculation what is that my mathematics isn't actually that good um you're looking at about 26 27 28 about 28 points 28 points okay so let's just imprint this so that's 140 points of your i mean because they do give you p attack and m attack as well so technically from just now what you have you do some division based on how many points you're getting and then you will know how much of a uh, cp you're increasing over there similarly if you want to find out you know how much penetration gives this is 35 you know you just do a simple imprint look at how much increase there is there's 70 points so you can you can safely say that each penetration actually gives you two combat power so these are calculations that you need what you're looking into if you are you know solely focused on trying to increase your cp to stay on the leaderboards and everything then yeah 
um, you would like to focus on P attack, um, things like penetration actually gives you two points, P attack I believe gives you three points. So these are things that you want to look at. And let's get back to Soul Crystals. So right now, Soul Crystals, at this point, you know, I stored up quite a lot of Soul Crystal, did quite a bit of testing, used up my Adena and all. So I found what I actually wanted to go about with this. Okay. People have been asking which stats are more important. It really depends on what you are doing, what you want to do. So first off is, you know, if you want to increase your CP by a huge bunch. Secondly, if you want to be fighting, uh, if you're going to be fighting a lot, if I have my rare gears on, I probably will be going for crit resist and resilience and even some penetration for the extra damage. So these are things that you have to consider and each class is actually different. So right now I'm playing Blade Dancer pretty much as a burst class. I mean, I can't really sustain myself out there in the battle and everything. So, and my cooldown skills are, you know, at least 20 seconds. So having auto attack actually doesn't really help much at this moment. I mean, unless you're way overpowered um, over your opponent and things like that. But if you're just talking about being on even level i mean you guys ha can try it out in arena you can auto attack the guy and you know it, it really doesn't help much because the damage isn't really that huge so you would like to you know be more into defense so some people you know they like to do the auto equip button and you know all this i, I do have r level r grade so crystals out here uh, this is for hp regen this is for crit resist so this crit resist is definitely going somewhere um, I'm hoping to actually put it into my my rare gears which I haven't managed to have the time to push it up so this R crystal is definitely going inside there so right now I'm just gonna keep it for a little while and you know work on my my PVE gears first and see what I can get um, I do not know when they're gonna release more content or raise the level cap but you know you want to be prepared for that at, at, at this moment <clears throat> so, I mean, you have the basic color to color matchings and everything like that. You do have your S gears. You know, I am moving on a little bit into increasing my P attack, basically, and as well as a bit of crit damage. <clears throat> because I presume that these PVE gears are gonna keep me in, you know, at least in the PVE section of it. Um, for core farming, for elite farming, hunting, blood farming and all this kind. So having all this, you know, I'm built towards that level. Right now, I can't really fight much people that are really like way above my level or I mean not level, way above my CP or I mean even similarly close, you know, I can fight them but it really takes out a lot of time and effort to actually kite them and you know, burst down them with skills. So... My gears are really focused on increasing my P attack, increasing my damage out in the field. As well, I do have some defensive skill in resilience, crit resist, P defense. So, I'm not trying to you know just dump everything in and see which one bring actually brings my CP the highest. I'm not someone like that. I actually prefer to keep the more effective rate into it. You know, all my purple crystals. I'm trying to keep it to P attack. You know, my orange, I'm trying to keep it to crit damage increase rate. I mean, as along as, as much as I try to get it, um, sometimes you don't. <clears throat> I do have a S grade, which is max MP. It doesn't really help me at this moment. I don't find myself having problems with MP regen. So all this, I will be keeping it for my leveling up of my soul crystals. So you do notice I do put a star next to some even C grades. All these C grades are actually what I want to use them for, like this P attack, this C grade for resilience. So putting a star next to them, you know, you, you just actually ensure that you do not use them in leveling up your soul crystals. Okay, let's just find something to level up right now. Um, you know what, let's just go with this. Okay, level up. I mean, it's pretty simple, you know, you do auto select, but the two secrets that I have they are pretty much what I want to keep so I'm not gonna use them let's go off to B 
you need about 11 or 12 Bs to actually push an A grade up to level f um, to level 5. So yeah, let's just see what... Is there any stars along them? Yep, this one. So let's get this. Let's level this up. You know, it's going to get pretty costly if you were to look at it in, you know, in the future. Um, pushing everything up to S grade, C grade. I mean, it, it does help your your stats a lot. It does help your CP a lot. But, you know, it does drain a lot of Adina from this leveling. I feel that it's even worse than your gears because basically you are only putting on about 10 pieces of gears. But each piece of gear, you know, you're looking at about five runes if they are at SR, five soul crystals. So yeah, for each one to get from A to S is already 50,000. So that's about 250,000 of gold. Um, moving on from S to R, you know, it, the requirement gets higher and higher. So if let's say you're lucky enough, you know, some people, how they want to do it, they want to focus. You can be very focused, like um, how I actually am play playing right now. I'm actually more focused towards my attack, attack based um, soul crystals. So actually, I'm trying to push them all to S grade and moving on to R grade. No, no I want to get something on first before you know mixing it up. You know, I can't hit enough. I'm not surviving enough, and all this kind of stuff. Right now, I feel that I will need more damage. I'm surviving pretty reasonably in. In the field and out in you know the the main point is i do not want to spend too much adina on potions so i want to either i can kill them fast or i can survive them well enough but right now i do not think that surviving is much of an issue so i really want to kill them much faster and then i will be able to survive uh, to save up on my potions as well so that's a sort of a basic introduction into so crystals, you know what? As for what stats you are looking into, you just might just want to take a look at this. You know, what stats actually are you more interested in? You know, my crit damage rate is already at one hundred eighty six percent. I'm hopefully pushing it to about two hundred percent. So once you crit, let's say your base damage is about five thousand. Once you crit, you get ten thousand, and with this two hundred percent, you are actually getting about I would say fifteen thousand. So, seems pretty reasonable to me because right now on the field, most of the mobs, you know, are looking at about 80 over 1000. So, having a 50, 15,000 auto attack, I mean, it's, it sounds pretty fine to me. Um, 16,000, you know, the damage does spike a little bit here and there. So, you know, these are things I'm looking out for as and when I hit, I do notice how much damage I'm doing um, in terms of your soul your missile boats yeah if you crit i do get a close to a thirty thousand crit so i mean it's helpful at most points you know so you have to really know what you want to go into if you really want to be very defensive especially with your rare gears because the main thing for soul crystals is removing them is painful okay let's just say i want to remove this oh, no i just remove an S grade. Oh, where is it? Okay. Removing it costs 150,000 Adina. So, you really want to, you know, put something that you want to use. For those that are just starting out, you know, you have C grades, you have B grades, go ahead, put it in. You know, if you just want to boost your, um, let's say you just want to boost up your attack, uh, your combat power. Like what I will do, I will just put this in. This is M attack after all, but it does give 98 penetration. End of the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell it. Since it's practically useless to me, I'm just going to sell it. I mean, some people can keep it for leveling up your S to R, your R to SR. You know, that helps as well. But for me right now, if I want to push up my penetration by 98, I'll just ignore this M attack 13 and, you know, just move on with it. And in the future, if I get a replacement, I'll just sell it off. So I skip off the entire, I skip off the entire removing part because it's gonna cost seventy thousand for an A at least. And that's pretty costly. All right, guys. I hope that this video that does help you 
out on your so crystals questions um, if you do have any questions do comment on the comment board i'll try to answer as much as i can um, don't worry guys you know even if it's been two or three days you know i will try to reply as soon as i can because i do have a day job and it's killing me sometimes so all right i hope all this helps you out and peace out if you like the video do drop a like and subscribe thank you everyone for the support so far i will see you again soon